I'm Timothy Hagee, the chapel organist here at Memorial Chapel of Emory and Henry College in the Highlands of Virginia. There is a beautiful dyer organ that was installed in 1996 in the French tradition. You can see the pipework behind me. Additionally, the room has incredible acoustics, and that's a wonderful combination. I thought a piece of Dupre would sound really nice, but before that, a few words from Ryan and from Henry. Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Whittington. I teach organ, piano, and keyboard skills here at Emory & Henry. Until this year, organ lessons had been offered, but they'd lain dormant on the class registry because there simply wasn't student interest in taking organ lessons. That was until last semester when I happened to be practicing in here in the chapel and Henry came by, who you'll hear from, uh, started asking questions about the organ and this semester he's the first organ student that we've had at Emory and Henry in quite some time. So it's my goal to revive awareness of the instrument on campus as well as interest among the students in taking organ lessons and learning how to play the king of instruments. In tandem with this revival, we'd like to also add a new stop to the organ, a new sound possibility for this instrument in this beautiful room. See, both of these things are timely for two reasons. One, right now in the immediate environment around Emory and Henry, there are several churches looking for organists. Their organists have either moved away or retired, and now they need new young musicians to take those positions. And it behooves us at Emory and Henry to train the next generation of organists to take these roles. The second reason is this Dyer organ, Randall Dyer, installed in 1996, and we're coming up on the 30-year anniversary. And wouldn't it be wonderful if we could look back from 2026 and say that we had not only revived interest among the students in learning how to play the organ, but we've revived the organ itself. Hi, I'm Henry Holcomb. And growing up, I always saw the organist at my church as someone who could do the impossible and do anything. But it wasn't until I came to Emory and Henry College where I finally got the opportunity to go behind the keyboard myself and actually see how amazing it is to control such an incredible instrument.